became aware of the Axe effects four years ago. I got to see Dweezil Zappa using it in Zappa Play Zappa and I was so impressed with the sounds he was producing with it. Uh, I sort of did some more research about it and thought, well, this is this is the way to go to uh, to be able to recreate all those sounds that I need to do on stage during this Pink Floyd show. It's so much crammed into this one box, so many amazing reverbs and delays and modulation effects, which are so very important for recreating David Gilmour's sounds. And then you've got the sheer quality of the, of the amp simulation, the speaker simulation, you know, you, you'd swear it, it have, had valves in it. All of that coupled together just makes it a perfect tool to recreate this variety of sounds that we have to do. I still do a double take when I'm, you know, in the middle of a song and I think, how, how is this not a valve amp, you know? It actually sounds more valve-like than previous amps that I've owned. The great thing about the Axifex also is all I've got on the floor is the MFC 101 and an expression pedal. I don't even have an inline tuner, I'm using the tuner on the Axifex. It's the most compact rig that I've owned. Certainly when you're replicating Pink Floyd's music, you know, Gilmore's tones change so much uh, over different eras. To do that authentically, to have access to that wealth of tones has just been absolutely fantastic. You know, the cabinet modelling, the, the stomp boxes. In actual fact, people have commented that my guitar sound has improved, not knowing, you know, that I've got anything new. They're just, you know, people say, oh, your, your guitar sound, your amp sounded great tonight. That was one comment I got. It's like, well, it's not technically not an amp but it is, obviously. <laughs> it's just made our guitars sound better, you know? <laughs> that's, that's the fundamental thing, you know? It, it, it's, it's enabled us to sort of really nail those sounds that much more authentically, pay more attention to the detail of what David Gilmour was doing in, on all those records, all those studio recordings throughout the 60s, 70s and 90s.